What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to show you my pigeon loft and the trap system I made the other day. So the way this trap works is that there was this here sort of a wire thing. Um, these were like connected up and stuff. So I just cut in the middle and then I bent them up. Um, and this way a pigeon can slide in, but if it wants to come out, it gets stabbed by these bits of wire and it just backs off then. So that's the trap. I actually put a bit of pigeon feed out there because as you can see, that's one of the pigeons I let go and it's trying to get back in. So yeah. That's why I put that right there and I've been actually training some of the wild pigeons I have and I do have sad news um, So as you can see the wire someone cut the wire open and I lost two pigeons um, One of the pigeons I didn't really care about but the other pigeon was a racing pigeon and as you can and as you can probably remember in the videos, I had a, a checkered racing pigeon hen with one white flight on him, on her, and yeah, she escaped. So that's pretty much that. There's pretty shit that I lost one of my favorite birds, but ah oh well, who cares? And. Just to let you guys know, um, a friend is coming down and we're going to be swapping some pigeons around. I'm going to give him racing pigeons and he's going to give me um, fidgeter pigeons, the wee short beaked pigeons. They're, they're basically like a German owl pigeon but they don't have the crest on top of their head. And I'm gonna show you guys the eggs. Let you know that they are fine. So here's the white racing pair. And big man over here doesn't have a girlfriend anymore. Um, so yeah, hopefully she might come back. Um, she might come back later on today, but I don't think so. Cause the guy, the friend who I got him off, um, I asked him, like, uh, did you breed that bird, or did he buy it off somebody? And he said that he bought it off a guy in Belfast. So, yeah, that bird isn't gonna come back to me. I think I don't think it's gonna come back to me at all. So that's the bummer part of it like but can't really do anything about it um yeah so as i said i am gonna be swapping around some birds um so stay tuned because on monday the birds are coming on monday and i'll probably and i'll probably make a video about them on a tuesday and just to show you guys um, the birds and that's it really um, and yeah so here's the mummy with the eggs um, she might be going um, I've got a good offer for her but I sort of don't want to let her go because I've put all my birds up for sale to see if anyone wants to buy anything you know and everyone just wants this pigeon like people from england and stuff want this pigeon but it's okay girl it's okay it's okay but look how calm she is that's that's one thing i really like about her and her coloring so here are the eggs that's the white purge eggs um yeah it's Nothing's happened yet, um, so I'll put that back. I 
I've actually um, checked these eggs under a light and this one I would say it, it only has a week left so yeah but this one the white Persex has a long way to go still around I don't know but like two more weeks two and a half weeks left for this year to hatch like but it's gonna be pretty unfair for this wee one, this wee one here because these ones over here this one's gonna hatch and then yeah that one's gonna hatch and then that one's gonna fade that one's gonna be getting fed and stuff by the time that other one like hatches out you know the other one's gonna be nearly oh one of the one of the pigeons flew down and then So this is how the trap system looks like. Um, it's not the best in my opinion, but it does the job sort of thing if I can. The only problem is that the ones I let go, I didn't train for them to go in through the trap. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about doing, putting a board in, like just screwing a board like from here to in there, like all the way in there and that way like I, I can put the food inside and then they sort of need to go in through this to get to the food but that was my mum's idea um, but I don't know what to really do um, because uh, to be honest I don't really care if I catch them or I don't so yeah and for the people who don't know what food I feed my pigeons with. It's basically a mixture of corn, wheat, barley, um, and then there's like these here brown bits are like protein stuff. Um, yeah. And I also got this for the birds um, I'm gonna have to mix this up with water and then that way um, canker this is for canker treatment um, none of my birds have canker it's just I wanna treat them so they don't actually have canker you know um, so I'll lock this up and I'll show you what happened here oh dear so, my wee sister left this open, um, because she fed the pigeons, um, and all of this got wet, well the top layer got wet, but, uh, oh well, you know, it's not too bad, like, but you can sort of feel the top bit is wet, um, but the grit, yeah, I'm gonna have to get a stick and like probably get this all Stir this all up because it's in clumps and stuff. So you don't want that, you know with the birds and stuff um, And yeah, um, I think that's gonna be enough for today's video So Oh, and there's one wee thing I need to show you guys is I'm gonna catch a pigeon and put it in through the trap and show you guys how the trap system actually works. Um, you know, when you want a, when you want to catch a pigeon, all of them just go outside. You know, right? Come on, I want to catch one of the wild pigeons because. Actually caught the other day that um, flew down to get some food. Uh, did I get a better grip of him? So 
So I'm sort of holding the pigeon and my phone in my same hand, so yeah. Um, so here's the bird. Um, beautiful wee bird, so it is it's just it has a weird head on him in my opinion. Really nice checkered, well more of a dark checkered um cockbird, which isn't bad and see it just slides in like no problem. So and I just want to show you this that there's another bird up there. Yeah so that's gonna be it for today's video. If you liked the video please hit the thumbs up, subscribe and leave a comment on what video you want me to do next. So see you in the next video.